Good morning, folks. We've got more on solar activity from top-level scientists. We've got new galactic simulations. Cosmology walks into a pole while texting, and the Earth interior shocks geophysics. We're starting with our star over at spaceweathernews.com, and it was a mostly quiet day on the sun. Minor stealth ejecta off the far side, rippling the corona around the limbs. But minor motion on the north is all that graces this half of the sun. The solar wind is dropping out rapidly. We're down into quiet stream range, and with the plasma losing intensity, the KP index is dropping down as well. The next coronal holes face Earth today, with their solar wind about three more days away. Well, folks, from the NASA-led limb eruption study yesterday to a study today of the sector boundaries and high-speed streams in the solar wind out of Finland, it turns out that the solar wind was 20 to 40 percent less geo-effective in cycle 24 than cycle 23. Now, unlike the flaring in CMEs, we don't know if this was just at Earth or it applies to the entire solar system, but at very least, it is another sign that the sun is marching towards grand minimum weaker and weaker. By the way, the best guess for the start date of that would be in the 2030s. New cosmological simulations covering everything from reionization up through the formation of the cosmic web and even zooming in to the galactic level. They have also done a great look at the Milky Way history, including its mergers. Now what's interesting is that while this mainstream sim obviously includes dark matter. It does manage to represent the massive circumgalactic media much better than any such simulation I've ever encountered. By the way, the CGM plasma is dark only in the sense that we don't detect it very well yet. Well, on to cosmology and veteran observers. You know the most atrocious year for cosmology in history is ongoing, and it continues now. By the way, I'm going to fix this legend they've got here. There you go. But after years and hundreds of failures to find WIMP dark matter, this year the axions and string theory got crushed by Chandra. The isotropic expansion of the universe was questioned. Then we have the dipole nature of the cosmos coming to light with a shifting electromagnetic power over the face of the heavens. Then we had the quadrupole galactic spin coherence indicating that the early universe was spinning. And today we find the key discrepancy in the fundamental nature of the universe just got bigger. While trying to resolve the Hubble tension, they accidentally discovered it's much worse than they had imagined. The fundamental nature of the universe, in the face of all the evidence here and from the last year, must change. Last but not least, folks, the large-scale coherent structures beneath our feet. They have discovered, via the echoes that earthquake waves send through the planet, that the regions distorting those signals are more widespread, numerous, and larger than they had believed. Now, we have to take this study and what it tells us about those structures at the core mantle boundary, and ask ourselves what it means for this. Folks, these structures come from the core and actually do end up reaching in thin offshoots through the crust, but alas, these are part of the structure of the planet. It's far from the image we think of where inside is a nice, concentric, spherical shell setup. It's just not so. The big question is what will the reaction be in a major electrical induction from a space weather event? These are almost certainly the conductive pathways to the core and are likely in delicate thermoelectric equilibrium like every alternate velocity zone inside the Earth is. So again, in the super flare or solar micronova, those paths to induce to the core and the structure that could break down and cause mantle heaving and land rising and falling is much more widespread than they believed. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. And of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.